G'day and welcome back to our English Murray Nostrum campaign. So I took a look at the peace deal we're trying to do. We could have taken a bunch of this, but we would have left behind Gibraltar. We're going to want to take Gibraltar to get this straight crossing into Ceuta for a war against uh, Portugal. So yeah, we're going to wander around here a bit longer yet. We will recall from Naples. It's going to be a while before we can integrate those two. Decline of the spice trade. Okay. So, we are doing a bunch of things here. Don't actually need that much more land though. I'm going to claim Konya or Ankara. That's fine. We can send him back when? November of next year. Okay. Can't do them for a while though because of the coalition. Got Cantabria. Can't kill them. Annexation of Cree again. We're down to Syria. Austria has left the coalition. Good. Just what we want to hear. And these guys can go and be aggressive now. Since the army's actually dead, mostly. Well, not really, but the actual Spanish army is. And hopefully, they'll be in their independence war as soon as we finish ours. Alright, we've got Granada, so we should be able to do this now if we want to. The question is whether Austria would rejoin the coalition. I think we'll wait until next year just in case. Alright, Syria is back to us. We again wander through these. Wouldn't mind getting some of our manpower back too. Alright, he just has to keep being annoying, doesn't he? They've left, so let's have a go at taking those. And because we finished there, let's go take back Sevilla. Recall from Savoy. Alright, Naples and Savoy both there. Same colour shields, a little weird. You don't need to go there anymore, you need to go there and then come back. Okay, that'll do that for us. We've taken Sevilla. Let's, uh, can't go that way. Let's stop them reinforcing from down here. Go up to Sevilla. The Savoy is going to take care of them for us. Right for ownership. One of our subjects thinks we're going to give stuff to him. Seed Casenza to Naples. Absolutely not. Gain prestige. Their opinion goes down. That sucks. But, okay. It's going to be that much longer until we can annex them. I should keep these guys close without suffering attrition. These guys go down to Granada. Pretty sure Portugal's going to be our next war. He's only allied with Brunei and Todinac. Keep taking more loans. He's pretty damn nasty. Fort maintenance is throwing us for a loop. There goes Toledo, which is the war goal. Let's bring one down to Sevilla. November, he's can take this back. Let's just forget it. Take their gold mine, see if we care. Right. We are fine being in Cadiz with them. Portugal thinks he's allowed to wander around wherever he feels like it. Hmm. Alright, it is December now, so let's wait for the 1st of January. Just evaluate this one last time. That looks perfect from my point of view. We take a bunch of stuff and we can call about half of it. So send that. We 
get another crappy fort that needs to die. Sturius is just going to be slaughterhouse up there. They have particularists. They are not currently at war with anyone else, so hopefully they'll uh, have their independence war. If we go to any of these colonies, they should have 100% liberty desire. They do. Good. They can keep Spain occupied for a while, then we'll be able to go back to war with them again. Now, first thing we need to do is the better value for money. Why is that so different? Ah, because this one is territory and that one's not, which means we're going to make more money out of that one, hopefully. But those are the most important, and then the sevens, cheapest seven first. And yes, if we were going to declare war on Portugal, we'd be able to jump on his army pretty quickly. Although, we're hoping that he starts the independence war. Hmm. What's our claims? Now, Portugal, we need to keep fabricating. Yeah, probably can't do much. Um, where are we going? Fabricate claims on Africa, actually. Alright, Dara is definite. It's Lempson and Ujda. Malia, eventually. So, no hurry then. We need our manpower back. Is that about a year? And actually need some money. So let's stop paying these guys. Yeah, this could work. So we'll have crazy power projection because we're rival to Spain, which reminds me will definitely rival Portugal and rival Austria. Now we have three rivals. Three years from now, we'll have a chance at going for the thing. All right. Savoy oppose, we gain money, yes. What year do we need to remember this? 41. What do we get when we lose? 20 prestige, that's not too bad. Do the conversions of the things that we can't core yet. Austria have announced this as a rival, yes. Keep fabricating in Africa. Malia. And then because we've got this, we can fabricate a long way down there. Spain's no longer valid, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. Alright, Austria and Portugal for now. Portugal have declared. Oh, they didn't declare. New Granada and War for Independence is exactly what I want to see. So these guys are allied with Spanish Brazil and New Granada, but if we declare, eventually they shouldn't join in. Hmm. Alright. Manpower's looking good at the moment, but still 26k in the hole. I want to pay off some debts before we do much. Two, four, six and a half thousand. Where's the one that tells us there? Yeah, 6,200. It's not good. Corruption is going up because of our overextension, which we should be able to get rid of a little bit more. Alright, another idea. We need more money. Another merchant. Okay. Where are we going to put him? I don't know, what else feeds into the English Channel? I guess we could chuck him in the Rhineland. Transfer there. 
42.6. That's decent. Yep, seems a lot that way. We have decent control there to send that up. Alright. Spanish army came back really fast. Lose admin, lose prestige. We've got pretty high prestige at the moment. Alright, so 6,000 divided by 40. That's a lot of months we'd have to sit here just sucking up money. What else can we do? National tax. We would seek their support. Looks like you're doing it for church power, but it's not. We're doing it for the loyalty and the influence. Gives us extra tax. We want their influence to increase. By 15 is enough. So let's do this. It gives us the extra 5%. Extra couple of ducats. Alright, we're on 3-3. Three, three. Don't care about that so much. Still way ahead of time. And this whole sailor thing. I've been at the cap non-stop. And we're almost good there. We're never going to have a fleet that's actually worth attacking anybody with, so we might as well get rid of these galleys. Hmm. It's not costing us a great deal, so we'll actually keep them for a while. Alright, Portuguese army. We just need to weaken. Because he's got a lot of men over there. Alright, let's get our men back in. So we're going to make a profit. And Spanish have an armada. So they might help us out against Portugal. Theodoro seed a bunch of stuff to Bohemia. Yeah, seed a bunch of stuff to Dagbon. And the Ottomans are out. Which means we would love to attack them. But, putting this spy network back up would be a good start. And we're worried about... Still two odd years away. Alright, core, core. Gibraltar, Elmeria, the Blaris. Okay. Who do we have? We have Frederick the 5-5. Five five. He's going to be in for a while. Spain, Naples, and Ethiopia are our dynasty. Ethiopia. We lost our claim. We have a strong claim. Well, he's going to die soon. So we get a PU over Ethiopia pretty easily, I think. We would need a claim. Well, we wouldn't need a claim, but having a claim on grain would be good. Hmm. Now, the other thing was, they didn't have forts before. They do now. Huh. Okay, a couple of months that we set to go. We are suffering attrition here. Significant. And there's nothing we can do to make that any easier. But everybody's ready to go, so why don't we just clear. Granada is going to be a thing forever. Alright, Spanish Brazil are hurting. Let's do our... Hmm. If we did this for Malia... No, it's in Africa. The other part of Africa. That would have been nice. Alright, let's go for imperialism. We're going to take Lisbon. We can't call anybody in because it's just too far away. Let's send this. Probus. Yep, 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 yep. There's got a lot of guys that we're fighting. We still outnumber them until the Spanish independence movement joins. Okay. William Henry. Go through Spain to get places. 
sit him. Can't get some capital. It's weird. All right, go to Viera. Some nice crap. We can go to Alenteo. These guys will go to Algarve, and Arthur Hawk will sit in Sevilla. And wait for the Spanish and the rebels to diminish the Portuguese army a little. Damn it. Should have fabricated more claims. Stupid move there. Right, what could we do to these guys to be annoying? If we track their administration, see where their armies are at least. As he suffers 2% attrition in grasslands. Kiva, sure. Tech cost does not concern us. What does concern us is Ethiopia's leader, Solomon 72. Hmm. And yeah, still a while before we want to do the thing. Let's take the royal marriage though. He's threatened, and we are domineering. I need to fabricate the claim on grain. We have received a donation from our friends in Oud. Who the hell is Oud? Holy crap. Okay. Thanks, guys. Why? They could offer us an alliance. Because they hate Persia. No, he's allied with Persia. That is weird. Okay. Never received a donation before. We want to jump up there. Hmm. We'll just sit down here for now. And of course, we're going to have issues down here, aren't we? Let's get one army. With two siege down there. Alright. Friesland doesn't matter. Cause we will keep working on. So that'll work out for us. Place Sayuda went damn fine. Good thing they have a massive freaking navy. Portugal still does as well somewhere. Corruption climbing because of overextension. Rome, we need the guy to be able to con finish converting. That's alright for now. Alright, the export licenses lose legitimacy for about a tax for 20 years. Uh, yeah. It's coming up more than two per year anyway, so that's fine. How are we doing on relations? We're one over because of that marriage. Sweden, Brandenburg, Milan, Naples, Savoy, Russia, Ethiopia. Okay. They've finally decided to attack. It's an interesting place to choose to do it. Might need to get these guys to help. So create a new unit. Leave behind one guy. And we'll head back. I'll make sure that we win this. And then figuring out where they're going to retreat to would be nice. Since we don't need them down there. Don't have access through Spain anymore. At war, yeah, he's still at war with Portugal, so why can't we do that? Hmm. Manpower's looking healthy. He's going to Porto, which is where I was going to send them. Oh, well. We'll take this, and then we'll be able to go everywhere up there. Renewed another loan. Losing a ton of cash. 
And Portugal should lose that battle, which means they'll run down towards us. Probably Lisbon. Oh, perfect timing. Alright, put these guys up. Coimbra. Up there. And Lisboa. Nice. We don't particularly care what they do up there. We do care about what's going to be happening down here, though. So, we'll leave one army up there, but everyone else needs to get ready to cross these straits. Who do we have here? He's got no siege, and we actually won the thing. Holy crap. Sweden declared on the Iroquois. William Henry has siege, so he stays, and Arthur Gloucester goes to Cadiz. Food shortage works for us. We got there late. So we'll leave this guy up here, bring these guys down to Sevilla. And how are we looking on this? Yeah, not bad. And there goes Lisbon. So we'll bring these guys. They can go sit in Bragansa. Yep, nasty reinforcement, but of these, level 8, level 8, level 8. Why would you do that, Portugal? Alright, Russia has died. He's not going to be going to war with anyone. Get that royal marriage back. Before we forget, we need to fabricate claims on the Ottomans. Ah, it's annoying. We're just fabricating everything. I'm not going to filter through which ones are in the right area. You know, get claims up here that we don't need or want, but it's fine. Should have left a fort in a wasteness. They wouldn't have been able to get past it. Oh, I need to take that. We could actually get our boats over here and help. Alright. There's no siege. This guy also has no siege, but we want him dead. So we'll send the fleet over to put him in there. Alright, that'll tick away soon. Yep, they've white pieced. So let's just drop him and head over to Porto. Well, not necessarily white pieced, but who knows. Oh, they did. It's written right there. Don't even notice these pop up sometimes. Quickly, Spain got their army back. It's a little scary. Alright, so we're going to take Porto. We've already got their capital. Nobody else is going to want to piece out, so we're going to have to watch out for their allies coming across. Although we'll probably drag this war out pretty easily. He doesn't have an army down there yet. They're just heading over this way. Alright, conversions... Holy crap. Pause. Ancona and Roma. Okay. They're all kind of high. It's, um, it's not enough. That costs too much. That's a bit too risky. Alright, what was the first one? It was Ancona, wasn't it? There's Rome. Yep, do them both. Not going to deal with rebellions. Granada is definitely going to happen as well. Let's give it to them. Okay, so this is going to take years. As will that. That's not too far off. And we're going to keep working through here. Trade steering up should hopefully help out quite a bit. Alright, what's the finisher for trade? Extra merchant. God, trade feels so underdone. Alright, 
There you go, decent. Well, I'm take a short break here, so thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I hope to see you again soon where we teach these guys a lesson for being annoying. So, see you later.